Uh, let's start off there. You know, scams are happening left, right and centre. Is enough being done to control them? Uh, it's a great question. So based on our research and research with the Global Anti-Scams Alliance, um, which has about 100 members globally looking at these issues, there's about a trillion dollars being lost to scams every year around the world. And scams are problematic because it damages trust in the digital economy, in digital society, which is an evolution that APAC in particular is really excited about. The idea, especially post-COVID, of accelerating that movement online. It's obviously something that Google cares deeply about as well and trusts in that ecosystem really matters to our business. So how we tackle scams is really coming together as an ecosystem. It's not a problem that any one entity can solve alone because scams weave on and offline, they weave on and off different platforms and they span a period of time as well. And so only, you only have one slice of the picture as an individual entity. You don't see necessarily how that user journey has ended. And only by sharing signals across that ecosystem can we make sure that we can really identify scams effectively and tackle them. Um, so one of the things that I'm here this week doing is um, announcing our partnership with the Global Anti-Scams Alliance where we're coming together to try and do more of that signal sharing. We also hosted yesterday at Google uh, the Online Safety Summit which is bringing together um, the police forces, the tech companies, telcos, banks to try and discuss this problem and figure out how we can better share signals to keep everyone safe online. Right, but how do you uh, build up the guardrails uh, at a time when AI is uh, everywhere, is getting everywhere, yeah. right? Is yeah. permeating through everything. Yeah. Um, and so it just worsens the situation. Well, AI is a productivity tool for the bad actors, you're absolutely right, but also for the good actors. So um, what we're doing in trust and safety with AI is yielding really interesting results. We have always used AI at Google. Um, so for example, in Gmail, we catch 99.9% .9 of spam before it ever arrives in your inbox. So you're not exposed to malware, phishing, and other types of emails that would otherwise undermine your safety as a user online. Um, but what we have been doing over time is innovating in how we use AI specifically within trust and safety work. And what's interesting about AI versus the way we've used machine learning in the past is it can take a more complex set of signals. So you can combine together, for example, signals about, signals about the actor, about the behavior and patterns of behavior over time, and about the content itself to better detect that something might be a scam. Mm -hmm. To give you an example in the counterfeit space, we can look at things like misspelt brand names, plus whether a price is too good to be true, to actually detect whether something is potentially a counterfeit product. And that's all part of a broader defense in depth approach that trust and safety takes. So obviously it's much better if you can prevent abuse from ever playing out on the platform through things like safety by design and active verification. Um, you can use AI to supplement detection. Um, and then, of course, user education is an important part of that as yeah, well. Yeah, because people are always so focused on the positive aspects of AI, right, that you wonder what happens to ethical AI. Uh, and given that we've had scores of conversations about NVIDIA and the chip makers and what every company is doing with their AI plans, uh, I think it's just interesting to get uh, to uh, just understanding uh, the flip side of the story.